Hello all and welcome to episode 8 of 5 Random Packs. Yes, a series inspired by me buying 20 packs of one type of card, which I thought was a random nature, led to me searching deep into the depths of eBay and buying one pack of several different types of cards, some which I thought were of a random nature, some shouldn't be bought by a man, some shouldn't be bought by someone my age, some definitely buy a combination of both. So yes, I put one of each type of these packs of cards into a box next to me. My right hand then disappears. Without looking, I pull one out at random. We examine the pack. We see what it has to offer in it uncommon cards rare cards the odds of getting them we then open them up we examine them have a little bit of fun with them perhaps take the mick a little bit and then what i must do out of each of those packs of cards each one of the five packs of cards is pick one favorite from amongst those cards and then what we do is we get a favorite from each pack we line them up against the back wall here of the mega drive games and then packs we even pick a champion of champions as such we pick a, a favorite of the five favorites from each pack so with that let's have the right hand disappear down to the side of me here Give the box a shuffle. I always like to go right to the bottom of the box for the first pack. And the first pack is Captain Scarlet. There we go, Captain Scarlet. Five part cards per pack by the good people of Cards Inc. There we go, Captain Scarlet, very prominent center of the three pictured. We've got some planes, we've got a car, planes, cars, this, we've got all of it going on on the front there. It was produced and shown on Carlton TV at the time. So, only five cards per pack, but have we got anything a worth of note in there? Look out for randomly inserted bonus chase cards. So we've got something to try and chase and find. This pack contains a random insertion of Captain Scarlet premium trading cards. Well, that's handy because that's what it says on the front, and that's what I would expect you to find. There are 72 basic cards to collect and six embossed cards. One in nine packs. State the odds reflect an average of the entire production run. No ratio guaranteed to exist in the individual. Okay. And we've got a website, captainscarlet.tv. I very much doubt that still works. And what have we got up here? Your standard please buy our binder. This is where you can get it. And this is how much it will cost. So, only five cards. But will we get one of the embossed cards? Six embossed cards. One in nine. But there's only six to find. So, it's not a great deal. But then again, we only get five cards per pack. So, as per usual, we have the scissors on standby because you no know, one likes to watch me try it up in a pack for 10 minutes. And there we go. And let's split the back and see our five cards. Let's have an embossed card. I'm looking at the back there. That's nice, nice what they've done on the back there. Look at that. Symphony Angel. We'll get to that in a minute. What have we got here? It looks like uh, Captain Scarlet has gone to the dentist. He needs, well, yes. That's a bit of an odd one. Fit for duty, so clearly having a medical. But there we go. And look, and we've got some well, some images of his skull in the background. Why is it the top of it red? Jesus Christ, man. That can't be healthy. So fit for duty, Captain Scarlet, with a little bit of dental work potentially going on. Probably tell us what's going on on the back a little bit. Jesus Christ, that's a wide stare. Look at that. He is indestructible, allegedly, just as well, because your head strapped down. He's about to drill the hell out of your mouth by the looks of it. Okay, so fit for duty. Um, well, this, I didn't buy cards to read. I bought cards for pictures. What the hell? This is the voice of the Mistrons. We know you can hear us, Earthmen. You will pay for your unprovoked attack on our complex on Mars. We will be avenged. Hmm. And two rather large yellow circles. So, yes. That, is that, you know... Yeah, that was the front. I was going to say, you want to get writing on the back, and then we get a picture on the front. This card is back to front. What the hell? What the hell? Do they mix it up with the colours of their circles? We've got a couple of white ones there, a couple of green ones there. Or is that different depending on who, who it is, which one of the Mr. Ones it is? But they've got the hell is that? That looks rather unusually looking. Oh, Christ. It does. Yeah, it looks like a rather unusual sex toy. That's really embarrassing. Okay, we've got a man being very mysterious and dark down there as well. This is card number 32. What was the first one? 12. There we go. Okay, so yeah. We got the. Although that is the, the famous catchphrase from the show. So that's a little bit interesting, but not as interesting as a cool car. Look at that. Maximum security vehicle. So secure that the drivers are going to barely be able to see out of it. There's not much windows there. A little token one on the side for the passenger. That's very nice of them. And uh, yes, uh, anything a little bit more? About on the back. I like the fact these do have multiple pictures on the back in many a case by the looks of it. Maximum security vehicle, other known as MSV. I see what you did there. But there we go. Yes, cool. Yeah, smart enough looking car with not a lot of window. You could do the wash there. Look at that. Got bloody stuff growing out of it. Okay. 
Uh, well, that's not very interesting, but nice to know that you are keeping safe and secure in your car. Must wear your seatbelt for every car journey. Well done, lads. Even though he's indestructible, he could argue that he doesn't need to wear a seatbelt. He's got it going on. Well done, Captain Scarlet. And again, look at the hat. Well poised, well secure. As I say, in this series, we do like a nice, secure hat. Well done, Captain. And what have we got here on the back? Uh, that was card number six. That's a low one as well. That is a low one too. There we go. Don't know why that matters. And we got a bit of a uh, bit of eye candy from the series. Look at that Symphony Angel, who uh, seems to have two rather large pills on each shoulder for some reason. What is that all about? And a little bit of a headset go going on. So perhaps she's having a game of I don't know Fortnite with Big Game Out Online or something. I really do not know. But there we go. Yes, three different images of her with her luscious blonde hair flowing in the well, he's inside. That's a bit of a stupid statement. But there we go. Yes, very smart indeed. Captain Scarlet's clear love interest. There we go. But we're not going to give it to you. That's just a profile photo. I don't care. We're going to give it to the car. The favourite one in this is going to be... Oh, I don't know. I complained about this, but this is just Captain Scarlet in a card, isn't it? I kind of dismissed it just because it was writing, but then you think of the series, you know it's all about this. And I suppose this could possibly scare some very young children, like, you know, hearing that in the voice that it was said. So I was going to pick the car because I do like a cool vehicle. But having said that, it is a little bit plain. It's not overly interesting. Though. And we're going to actually, I'm going to go for this card here. Because I say, if you know Captain Scarlet, you're probably reading that in the voice that they used in the show. I'm actually going to give it to that. And we're going to get to that. A bit of controversy in the series. A last minute change. Just when the car thought they, it had it won and was pulling onto the podium for winning, it was denied. Anyway, it's the start of what the hell am I going to do with Paul has begun. Right, let's have a shuffle here. And what have we got here? Oh dear. Weird Ball, gross series number one. Five trading cards, dissatisfaction guaranteed, so I can't moan if they're crap. It says so on the tin or the pack as such. Got a fly up there, and we've got the guy that probably needs Captain Scarlet's dentist by the look of it. Those gums are bleeding like a good one. But don't worry, he wishes peace on you. He wishes peace on you. Either that or he's got this swearing luck completely wrong. Wearing a rather large nappy. Is that some sort of, um, sort of very fat, ugly sumo wrestler? God knows. Right, we've got any specials and stuff. We've got any specials or stuff. Gumless. There we go. Endorsed by... Do oh, here we go. Dr. Plague. And the weird ball dentist. Yeah, work. <laughs> Collect them all. And um, we've got the fact they're from 1986. So there we go. They are of quite an age. They are of quite an age. So there we go. What, 24 years? Has my maths eluded me? I don't know. But there we go. So I don't really know what to say expect from this so apart from a little bit of dissatisfaction allegedly so these feel like they're quite easy to open famous last words famous last words oh, are we gonna get yes look at that we didn't use the scissors we didn't use the scissors we have a piece of a card we have a piece of a card off the bat and uh cheers for a, a, a large chunk of stomach that is that is yeah thanks man thanks it says the word fat on it followed by something beginning with a i really don't know Okay, well, that's definitely not going to win. Oh, we get a joke. Weird ball, disgusting jokes. What was on the back of that, by the way? Oh, hang on a minute. Is that the front? And that is the back. Oh, oh, we need to we need to reassess these. Whoop, round we go. So, well, that, that's cool that we'll have a quick look at the back of the other one. That, oh, they're double, oh, they're double sided. And some of them. Wow, wow, these, that's cool. There are only five cards, but you get a kind of two because they're reversible or oh, this one says it's number in the top right corner is this the back i'm so confused but they are printed in hong kong without look they've missed out the letter i and and e but we, we get the picture the flies in the corner of every card he's there but we've got clean and jerk and his clean is obviously referencing the fact that he's meant to be clean and, and he's not but he's fallen through a stage and he's blue and dribbling green what the hell what the hell your weights are, are, are not of the highest quality. They are fracturing and falling apart. But uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of that. That is just, well, weird. Well done. Does what it says on the tin. Well, that's one way to fly into space. What the hell is going on here? Um, There seems to be goo coming out of his ventilator there. He feels the need to make a paper airplane with his actual spaceship as well. Turn the side will help a little bit. But Christ, these are exactly what they say on the tin. They really are weird. U.S. Air Force as well. I'm pretty sure that riding a spaceship into space and not having your ventilator collected would mean you'd normally die, so you are some kind of weird, freaky animal. You are, however, ahead of Clean and Jerk so far. But we didn't look at the back of Clean and Jerk. That was the one with the 
part of the picture. What's on the back of this one? Sneakers. That's a, that's, that's a take on a well-known chocolate bar. Sneakers all day chew. Um, well, the, the flies are, are taking you up on the, the, the fact that you can chew all day. So what we got here, we've got ups, Upside Down Skateboarder, otherwise known as Cheap Skate Charlie. And is that a tongue or is that more of this green goo that seems to be everywhere? God knows. What the hell? That, that's, uh, yeah. Oh, Christ, weird as. Weird as. There's, um, yeah, did you see Tony Hawk and wanted to have a go or something? And look at the state of his eyes. He's clearly not pulling it off very well because he's absolutely petrified. What have we got on the back of this one? Slime, wrestling number one's draw. Sludge head. Well, yeah, exactly what it's got. Worms for eyes as well. Pointing to the sky. Maybe seeing the guy that's flying into space and saying, look at what that dude's doing. Okay, so we've got Eddie Spaghetti, who has a guitar in a green case for some reason. Uh, not, not happy with standard black cases. Get one of the green case. Smoking as well on the job. Um, that's, well, that's as about as non-weird non, non as these cards have been so far. What have we got on the back? It's a little bit not interesting, to be honest with you. Pig League Goo. Free offer on back. Okay. Shredded cabbage, cabbage for me. That's not one. Who wants that? But yeah, to be honest with you, that's that's a little bit of a boring one amongst the set. So we're going to pass on that one. So it's definitely not going to win the five favourite. And we've got Running Ralph, who's not doing a very good job of running because he looks like he's quite out of cancer there. He's eating and smoking at the same time. So yes, I think it's one of those that you kid and you, when people ask you, are you losing weight? Well, yes, I am. I am a runner. And then you go out and do that sort of stuff. And this is the one with the jokes on the back. Here we go. How do you break snot's, snot knows his finger? Did you hear about the weird boy who lost the use of his whole left side? Oh, right. Brilliant. We've got to get another car to find out the answer. Did you hear what happened when uh, when Sewerface Sam put odor eaters in his shoes? Answer on car 29. Do we, we don't, we not have, but we've got 26 and 31. But, but it's not 29. So why is that even relevant, Rob? That is just a waste of time looking for that on those two cards, wouldn't it to be? Gross Series 1. So, yeah, that's that's not overly interesting either. The one I'm going to give it to is Wrong Stuff Williams uh, on the Spaceship one. I quite like that. I quite like that out of these. And well done on saying that these are weird and fulfilling of that requirement of staying weird. So off you go into the pile of God knows what I'm going to do with cars, which is bloody huge at the moment. Right, back into the pack. Back into the box, even. Back into the box. Uh, now I'm going to go on the top. I'm going to pick one from the top. And we've got... We've got Poker Hunters with a, a small what, animal on her shoulder who she clearly has a lot of trust in not to bite the shit out of her, basically. And what are you holding there? I don't... I can't even make it out. I don't know. Don't know. Answers on a postcard. Maybe it's another small animal. God knows. So Poker Hunters cards. We've got eight cards. And we've got one pop-out card. We've got interactive cards. Yes, get in there. Right, what have we got on the back? Anything rare? Odds of, oh, I've got odds of finding one. Odds of finding pop-out cards are one in every pack. Okay, I thought that's what it said on the front. 3D panorama cards, approximately one in nine packs. I thought it said Durex then for a minute. Dufex cards, approximately one in 36 packs. Moving animation cards, oh, approximately one in 90 packs. So that would be cool to get one of those. Moving animation cards and 3D panorama cards replace two regular cards in pack which contain them. So you lose a card for gaining a, a rare one. Well, that sucks. What the hell is that? That's a bit unfair. State does reflect the navigation. No, 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 yeah, that, that spill, yeah. Okay, don't buy a whole box, basically, and expect to get one. And the usual, buy our binder to put your cards in. Here's how much it costs. Here's where to send it to. Uh, from the good people of Skybox International. Okay, these don't feel as easy as the last ones to open, so we're getting the scissors back because just because it's easier. It's easier. I think I just about shot, I think I hacked at the top of the corner of the cards there. We might damage some. What we damaged with the one of the one in 90s? I could sell that on eBay and possibly get the value of the pack back. Right. Here we go. Here we go. That is the back of the cards again. And we've got uh, what have we got there? Hmm. The leader coming out saying how with um, a, a guy and a big stick because, you know, in case he then needs a big stick, he's on hand to provide the said big stick. So quite an unimaginative shot, to be honest with you. But we've got it, what story it tells. Anyway, the first step towards war. And there's some writing that I can't be bothered to read. Feel free to pause if you can be bothered to read. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't. OK, so we've got a rather spoilt dog in a bubble bath wearing a blue shower cap, which is well-worn because we do like a well-worn hat in this series. 
And some cherries on standby. Well done, little dog. Uh, what the hell? What? Oh, come on. Right. Oh, stunned into silence there. Pampered Pooch, number 16. I reckon this could be number 16 as well. You know, you've just ruined the fact that you want to... You can't win favourite card now because there's two of you in there and I can only have one go forward. So I can't pick one without the other, which means I'll then be picking two. You know, what? what is what is the world without rules? So, yeah, you've just disqualified yourself straight away. So, sorry for trying to enhance your odds. It did not work. And please, Paul, if you wish to read the back of the cheater's card. Ain't happening. Right. Okay, running through the woods. That's quite a colourful, nice, nice artsy shot. Can you win? Yes. Um, oh, is that is that red? Oh, hello. We've we've got something here. We've got something here. We'll have to look at the pack again and try and work out what that is. I was genuinely liking this card for its art style and thinking, oh, we could have a winner here. They're all running away from something. The deers are clearly scared of what they're scared of as well. So what's going to eat the deers? It's going to eat Pocahontas as well, potentially. It's a rather large bear, perhaps. Who knows? But there we go. I I think I picked up a rare one. So how many cards have we got? Oh, is that why they doubled up on one? Because they took one away from us, so they gave two of the same one. Right. There was three there. Four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine. No, they didn't take any cards away from us, so it wasn't one of the, the, the mega rare ones. So we'll put that down a minute because we need to research you. Oh, there's the pop-out one. We're going to play with that in a minute. And there's a Mr. Jack Sparrow want to be. So, yes, that's not really working, sir. You, do, you don't look as cool. You're dabbing as well. If you're dabbing, you're not going to win the favourite card. To be honest with you, you're not going to win the favourite card anyway because we've got a pop-out card and a special with a cool art style, so you might as well uh, sort off Jack Sparrow want to be. Look at that. Are they blue? Did they paint their entire bodies blue before then painting their face? They've gone for the old Zangief haircut as well. Look at that. So, yes. Mm. Uh, are they the ones that are chasing Pocahontas and the deers? Uh, are you cannibals? Who knows? What card number are you? Let's 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 look at the story and not read it. There we go. You can pause that as well if you really want. Sound of the drums of war. Sorry, you're into the loser's pile because we already have a, have two contenders, although it's probably going to be the foil one because the pop-out one. Just, we're just going to have a bit of fun with and there we go. The two love interests meeting each other with a rather jealous raccoon peering around the corner going, I hope they don't. She's all mine. Go away, you. Push him off. Push him off. Push him into the water. That would be funny. Right. Uh, show off. Yes, yeah, she's, she's doing her impression of one of those monkeys that hang from trees. I, I forget the, the specific uh, breed, but um, I, I'm envisioning it in my head. No, that's not really helpful to you. But no, not very interesting. And there we go. All looking very... Focused on something in the distance. Uh, you looking there? You looking at my hand? It's up here. Uh, God knows. Yes, you're just looking at a rather a rather bright star or something. Who who knows? Right. So we've got a pop out card, and um, oh, I was hoping it was like double laid or something, and then and oh, there's no perforation there. So you lit or, or or do you? Oh right. Oh right, and that just sort of holds away from it. You do that, and it, it attempts to stand there like that. Okay, so it's a pop-out card, but it's not very interesting, to be honest with you. So I always say that special cards don't necessarily just win because they are special, but I just generally liked the art of that as soon as I saw it. It was something about the colours that... And, yeah, the foil effect really does add to it as well. So, goodbye, pop-out card. You're going to join the pile of God knows what I'm going to do with, but we're going to bring this back just a second to find out potentially what that card is. So, uh, where's, where's my odds things, if I can hold it the right way round? So we've got, uh, what have we got? Cards, approximately one uh, one in, odds of finding proper cards, one in every pack. 3D panorama cards, approximately one in nine packs. Dufex cards, approximately one in 36. I don't even know what Dufex means, I've got to be honest with you. So, it's going to be, I just reckon it's one of those one in nine, one of those one in nine ones. Because it's got a little bit of 3D going on about it, isn't it? If you kind of, I nah, don't know, don't know. But anyway, it is the clear winner of the favourites. It is clear one of the favourites, and it is clearly also a rare one as well, or rarer one. So there we go, into the pile. Oh God, that's what I'm going to do here. So we're three down, two to go. Right, let's let's have a shuffle and have a look. And we have, we have uh, back to front, and possibly no, they're the right way round. Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home, a film that was so good they made a second one, but I didn't really like the first one, apart from that one moment where the, the 
the the whale jumps over the boy, then I want everyone knows. You know that was quite impressive actually to to see done in, in cinematics. But you are pretty much just waiting for that moment. But anyway, what have we got? We've got a coloring card in every pack, right? Go get the crayons. We're all over this. Only five cards per pack. Seems to be a theme of this. There was only five in them, them and them. But uh, Poker Hunter has pulled away from the uh, from the quantity of cards leaderboard to the top of that one. What the hell? Right, five cards per pack from the good people of Skybox, and we've got what have we got there. Uh, Free Willy, 1995 to 1996, official supporter. Official supporter of, of the whale. Okay, any rares or anything? No, that's just telling us 1995, so 25 years old nearly. And what have we got up here? To sell us the binder. Adopt Kiko today. Call that number, whales. Help save Kiko with your own Kiko adoption kit. Each kit, each kit includes a personalised certificate suitable for framing, a beautiful full, full colour wall poster, an official I'm Helping Kiko sticker, plus you'll receive the quarterly Kiko report with all the latest news from Kiko's process, progress, plus other fascinating whale tales from around the world. Well, that's that's unusual, that's different, and uh, if it's if it's supporting the whale and... and um, and it's captivity, then that's not the worst thing in the world. I'd rather you did that and sell us a binder. Right, I don't know what I'm talking about here, to be honest with you. <laughs> Whale talk. I've got it all. Right, okay, so let's see what we've got. Oh, they're, 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 they're glossy. They've got a bit of a shine to them. And we've got um, a thoughtful person sitting on a beach with deepest regrets, perhaps. Oh, they're just sad because they're saying goodbye. It's what you wanted. It's what you wanted. You should be happy, but you should be sad at the same time, I suppose. Because you've, yeah, your friend has gone. Having just found out that, oh, okay, I thought it was just the way of getting out. But yes, you've just found out that your mother passed away. Jesse finds a quiet place to spend time thinking about her. Well, kudos to you, dude. I'm not going to take the mickey out of you for that. That is never a nice thing for anybody to go through. So please do sit there. Remember, remember fondly and say goodbye. I don't even care if it's a film. I don't like hearing that. Right, uh, Willie's mum. Willie's mum. Okay. Okay. That's a, that's a phrase. And there's a boy looking for Willie's mum there. with have got a pair of binoculars on the go. And there's a boy just saying, look, it's right there. You don't need the binoculars. Why are you wearing a coat like that when it's that warm? He's wearing a white T-shirt. That's the best thing to wear when it's that warm. So you must be sweating your tits off, sir. OK, we've got a colouring card. Here it is. OK, we're probably going to need one colour because this area here stays white. But we can have a bit of fun with the background, perhaps, and make it multicoloured. But there we go. Einstein CC3. Colouring card number three, does that mean? Oh, it's double-sided. Look. Double the fun. Double the fun. Oh, where are those crayons? Come on, I called from a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> Why do I like that so much? That is really cool. The, I just love the cartoon graphic of it, to be honest with you. The other two uh, are not winning so far. I'm, at the moment, the colouring card's taking it. Uh, three people on a boat. And the, the, yes, got him. Oh, but don't, you're not hunting him, are you? What, what are you hunting? Give us a clue. Do you say on the back? Do you send? Oh, that last card looks right. Jesse, Nadine, and Elvis look on in excitement as they watch Willie leap out of of the water. Yeah, you've got to watch it. You know, you've got to be careful when your Willie leaps out of the water. And save little spots. So there you we go. No, it's not that interesting. It's just a journey to go look at Willie. Oh dear, there are puns of plenty in this. And we've got a cartoon image. I like the cartoon image. And in fact, hitching a ride, you know what? We don't want to colour in. We don't want to colour in. So, although the colouring card is cool, if you disagree with me, yeah, go on, tell me in the comments that I should have picked the colouring. The card that you need to colour in, not the one that's already coloured in. We're, we're losing our interactive fun. The crayons are still on their way. But uh, good grip there. Jesus Christ. Or is he, is he actually trying to... Well, I would say, is he trying to get away from you? He's smiling, so perhaps... Or either he's laughing at you, trying to hold on, going, this kid ain't got nothing on me. He's not holding on at all. But there we go. Uh, what, what's on your head? God knows. Oh, no, that's your hair, and you're wearing a little scuba mask. So there we go. Willie is wet. You know. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Cray we still need the crayons, because um, we can use crayons to do dot to dot. Look at that. What is it? Yeah, no, 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 real, no real hardship to work that out. What is hiding in the seagrass? Don't know. I reckon uh, if we draw them, the dots together, we might get something that resembles a seal, potentially. Either that or it's just a face floating in the sky with a load of small flies chasing it. Who knows? But there we go. We're going to give it to the cartoon graphic. 
We've got th three horizontal cards here. I'm running out of room on the wall of Mega Drive games. Okay, let's have a shuffle for the fifth and final pack to try and take it. There's a close contest for the favourite and the favourites, and we've got stickers for the last one. Oh, yes! Now we are talking. I flipping love Gladiators. This is the best TV programme that was ever made. I was literally just watching old episodes on YouTube last night. I used to collect these back in the day. This exact album, this is series one, the first series of stickers that they ever made. And I think they did a couple more after it. I had the album. I don't know where the album is. I'm hoping it's at my parents in the loft with a lot of my other old stuff from my youth. I wouldn't mind actually perhaps getting the album again if I can't find it. And perhaps getting all the stickers again, although these were actually some of the dearer ones in this box. But because it was Gladiators, I really didn't care. Oh, we cannot wait. Look, we've got Shadow and Warrior there dueling at the front, even though they're not supposed to be dueling with each other. And it's not, you know, you're supposed to be against the contenders. Is that why they're looking forwards rather confused? Because they're going, huh? Oh, okay, this is uh, not meant to be right. We're not meant to be fighting each other. But there we go, 1992. Yes. Oh, I cannot wait. Let's get these open. Get these open. I remember there used to be foils in these, which was just a gladiator's names, which were pretty cool to look at. And of course, I, you know, fantasized over Jet in every young lad. Probably my first ever crush as such. Okay, here we go. We've got the what's the front one? Let's look at the front one. It's part of Wolf, but I just want to make sure I've got them all out because I loved it. I'm gonna keep this pack as well. Oh, see, that's why you need to check. There is another one in there. There's another one in there. Number 188 nearly got away. Oh, brilliant. Gladiators. And it's Warrior and Scorpio having a hug. Look at that. Very young looking warrior. Very young looking warrior. Having a hug. Got a firm grip on that, grasp on her, haven't you, mates? Looking very stern as if to say, this isn't my missus. Why have I got hold of this one? Oh, we've got no foil. We've got no foil sticker. But we've got a, a, a quarter of wolf. Who is afraid indeed of the big bad wolf? Pulling a wolf pose as well. I'm just full of nostalgia right now. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> Oh dear, you you just all kinds of scared and not getting how to how to duel are you? Look at that! I I fear that uh, another one bites the dust is about to play very soon. Jesus Christ, man, what have we got here? Oh, it's Wolf again. This is another two parter by the looks of it. Another two parter by the looks of it. Whatever happened to that game? They they kind of never used it much, did they? Danger Zone, that was the one. I nearly forgot. And he said Power Zone for some reason, but I knew it wasn't right. Yeah, I love the way they were on bits of string. It was just like, ha I made you hang up in the air. And it's just like, oh, well, you didn't really. The people upstairs did. And uh, they, they just did it because uh, they, they saw a large spark, which was apparently you hitting my target. I always thought that was a bit of a bit of a, a nonsense game because you didn't really need a gladiator to shoot, did you? Who You know, you probably get someone that isn't a gladiator aim better than some of them. But who knows? And top of top of lightning there, one of the oh one of the two, one of the two women that uh, that shone out amongst the rest between young boys. It was, it was like the question was always jet or lightning, and for me well, it was always jet. But uh, we've only got the top half of her. But look at that, look at that hair, look at that very nineties, very early nineties. That isn't it. Yes, and, and what a lovely woman as well. She always came across so well. And uh, that other well, I tell you what. Even though it's not the same contender, it was probably a before and after we've got going on there. He's probably probably going to face plant the mat, isn't he? Probably going to face plant the mat. But what I've just noticed out of this pack of six cards, only one of them is actually a full picture. And that is this one here of a rather I've been made to do this posed warrior with Scorpio. So, do you know what? I'm... I'm... I have to pick a favourite, and I'm I'm literally going with these these two action shots here are just you know the half half the fun basically, but uh, I mean if it had the legs of of lightning it wouldn't be very interesting to look at as a sticker, but I don't know do I have to give it to a full picture because then there's only one winner although I do like the contender like there's clearly absolutely in all sorts of bother here, but um, yeah yeah I, do you know what. I'm giving it to my favourite gladiator that appears in the stickers. And it was always, it was Jet, then Lightning. So we're going to give it to this Lightning one here. And I've just noticed, look at the five favourites. Look at the five favourites. That adds four, a fourth horizontal one. Out of the five favourites, we've got four horizontal ones. Which is weird, which is interesting. Only a weird ball one provided one that was upright. And uh, the three Willy cards haven't made it over to the what am I, hell am I going to do with pile. So now... Now we've got a tough pick in five favourites here because no, normally when I do this, one 
clearly shines out perhaps too but we've got a very mixed bag here to be honest with you to be honest with you they are all kind of level um although i was picking my favorite gladiator it's just half a sticker so i'm not going to give it to the lightning one we'll rule out that this is a really nice picture and that, well, that is exactly weird i, I do you know what? i really like this I, I took the mick out of it for just being writing to start with but it's exactly what it, what it is meant to be with the Mistrons, because they couldn't do a card of Mistrons. They never, you never saw them. And and then, yeah, the voice that, that was delivered, and that, I think that's a good representation of the, the Mistrons, actually. And I love things with a mysterious nature. Clearly overthinking this a little bit. But, uh, yes, I, I, yeah, I do like that. I do like that a lot, actually. And the way it's delivered, even though I thought to start with, well, that's just a bit of writing. And then once you read it and examined it a bit more, it was actually quite cool for what it does. So I'm going to give it to that. But this is a real hard selection to make from the five. I mean, please do put in the comments below if I picked the wrong card out of a pack that should have made this five, in your opinion. And which one of these favourite five would you, pick, would you pick? Because I really need help here. And I've gone for that one because of the saying and the mystery behind it. And the, the, the two rings that appeared. Yeah, it was quite spooky when those two rings appeared and it said. So I, I think that card delivers that well. So I've gone for that. But if you disagree with me from these five as well, please, please pick the five. As for quality of cards over a whole pack, do you know what? It's it's not about quality here for me, actually. It's about nostalgia and I love Gladiator. So I'm going to give it to the Gladiator stick as a, as, as a favourite because I was waiting for that for ages. Even though it's disappointing, I got five parts and just one whole sticker. No foil as well. It was still good, and I might collect that full set in the future. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up episode eight of Five Random Packs. It has been so much fun to do going through these. I always enjoy doing these. I've still got enough in the box for a good few episodes yet. I have replaced some packs in there with obviously different ones, put a couple of new ones in there which haven't come out yet, and I've got another two or three on the way, so I've got another episode's worth to, to go. But uh, hopefully I can keep pulling out plenty of random cards for not a lot of money and keep the series going for as long as possible. And then certainly at the end of the year, we're, we're going to put all the favourites, we're going to put them all into a binder, the five favourites into a binder, go through them all, have a little review of them, and then pick basically a champion of champions at the end of the year. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally time to wrap this video up and just say thank you very much for watching. And as always, take care.